Hello. Okay. That was a little bit longer of an intro than I thought it would have been. Um, yeah, I was trying to kind of show how uh, how some of these randos have gone at this point. Uh, it seems like a lot of the rando fights are actually quite a bit more difficult after the um, after the archer nerf uh, since the last time. Uh, this seems to be primarily because they were kind of the kind of the big uh, the big counter to, to monks. So by and large, one of them can hold uh, hold uh, entire groups off even better now. Uh, but another part is actually just because this party is not fully updated. Um, I got them the latest stuff from the store, but they don't have everything, everything just yet. So like the the healers don't have their better healing abilities. They don't have uh, stuff like Mother's Blessing and whatnot. So. Plan to get that for them next, but yeah, it's get, gotta say it's pretty nuts. Like I wanted to test it out with this group yesterday. After testing it out on another save yesterday, um, wait, did I just say yesterday? I meant to. Okay, so I wanted to test it out on this save because yesterday I was trying out on a uh, different file, and uh, yeah, kept running into issues with uh, with rando fights, which personally I really like, because it kind of lends credence to the whole thing of okay, you know the. Uh, the main characters here, they're kind of going for the most reasonable route. The, the going and grinding and finding, you know, fighting randos all over the place thing, that, they're, that's not something they're terribly equipped for. So, I don't know, I kind of like that uh, as far as the mentality goes. Um, it feels like... Hmm. No. It, it feels like some of the fights, though, um, they, the monks need a little bit more of a counter. Uh, like for example, uh, one of the ones that I was seeing a few times when uh, was when you get the two or three monk spawn in uh, in Time Mouth here. Um, oh, that sucks. But yeah, uh, whenever you get that one, it seems like it's pretty much nigh impossible to actually keep up with them, uh, just because uh, both the speed and everything. So I tried going and having somebody run up and drop a spoil heal on them. That doesn't seem to do anything. They still seem to do like forty and fifteen. So, I don't know. It, I'm not sure if Spoil Heal isn't working right. But that's what I feel like. So at any rate, that should be that done. Hopefully, uh, Lavitz over, or Voltaire over there decides to stick on the ground a little bit longer while I go finish off this last one. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have risked the run on a test here, but whatever. Like I started going through it, and I'm like, oh, this is actually kind of going a little bit dire. I might as well turn it on and see where things go here. <laughs> so, stuff happens. Because, yeah. Uh, the, the other file that I was using, like I said, very similar to this one. It's best called as an alternate universe version of this one. Um, lots and lots of spear users and that sort of thing. And mostly spears, archers, you know, the usual kind of historical stuff you'd expect but um but yeah they were having a whole lot of difficulty because yeah um what i was saying earlier about the archers being their main counter before is because even though they didn't end up being able to hurt a lot of other things when it came to monks and that sort of thing they still had a pretty decent chance of hitting them um you know they they could at least be consistent about it they could at least keep them locked down a little bit Right now, uh, from the testing I've done, it's like even three of them using their abilities and everything else. Uh, that it's not enough to actually keep them locked down to any degree. So that's a little intense. All right, so these guys need to be a ten. So I'm probably just gonna sideline them for now. Just kind of wanted to at least try to get them somewhere. Uh, actually, I wanted helmets for them. Buy them some helmets. Actually, in general, I want to buy more helmets. There were a few units I wanted using these. But you can't even use them yet, can you? Nope, helmet is too complicated for little brain, I guess. Too much complicate. What I should be buying, though, is more of these. Now, if you're wondering on the music earlier, I actually just found out kind of by fluke recently, that apparently um, a lot of Blind Guardian stuff actually does not end up running into that weird copyright thing. So 
I don't know why. It seems like the thing that should, but... You know, I put a couple of them in the background there just to kind of test it out, and it's like, okay. They're okay with sharing it, it would seem. Now, it might just be... Uh, because, uh, because of the whole overseas thing. I don't know. Maybe they're only severely copyrighted in places where they're all super popular, like... Although, that being said, you know what? They actually did come to, uh, to the U.S. once. Of all places, Albuquerque. Like, I, I was living in, uh, uh, living in Rio Rancho at the time, which is, like, 30 minutes from Albuquerque. And, like, listening to the radio, like, this sounds really familiar. And they were playing Mirror Mirror. And, uh, and yeah, sure enough, like, this, this sounds very, very, very familiar. What, what's going on here? And they're like, yeah, Blind Guardian's showing up, like, here of all freaking places. Like, what, <laughs> what's happening here? <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't, couldn't, uh, make it at the time, which sucked, because that was one of those, like, once in a never, ever, ever gonna happen kind of situation. But, uh, you know, it is how it is. Life doesn't line up sometimes. But, uh, but yeah. Why friggin' Albuquerque? Alright, so those are updated now. Really, that would have been the thing to make a lot of fights more of a stalemate at the very least. But I want to get all of these having paramedic and stuff like that. So... I really, I really hope that spoil heal just, just wasn't working right, and I'll try to try to show that off next time uh, I run into one of them. Cause, cause yeah, it was it was still doing like the the exact same amount. I I thought it would do like thirty or so, but no, it was still doing forty fifteen. It, it seems like the second number got reduced very minutely, but not the second one. Or, uh, or not the first one, rather. Unless it was reduced only by, like, five or something, which, you know, what, what is that, really? Now, uh, probably having Mute would have helped. I kept going for a stun, um, uh, during the early part of it. But I didn't quite want to proc, but yet all of theirs proc'd. You know, the usual kind of RNGesus, why are you being a dick kind of thing. <sighs> Such is life, such is life. Alright. They're all updated. Let's go do this thing. Arguably the first kind of big gatekeeper fight. Uh, or no, it isn't, not yet. That's the next Bode visit. This is just the you gotta pet Sistina. Yep. Why would you turn her down? Who knows. Anyway, despite their previous training, these guys are going to completely change their jobs now. So, uh, these two I actually want as Terror Knights. Seems strange, I know, but... Here's the thing. They lack agility, Sistina's got extra agility. Uh, you know, they've... They're occasionally going to be needing some extra tankiness. Fulkert has that. They're supposed to be a couple by cannon, so screw it. Or rather, it's supposed to be more along the lines of he likes her, she's not too interested either way. So, you know, that kind of thing. Plus, they're apparently super into anatomy. You know, wink wink, nod nod. Nudge nudge, uh, you, however... I have decided that you like animals now. Congratulations! <laughs> this is a good choice. No. No, it isn't. However, I want somebody to use a whip, and old man here. This kind of looks hilarious, whipping stuff. Whip naked. <laughs> Where's animology or teratology? Because I want cockatrices. That's kind of the the goal here. Um, after after all of this nonsense and everything else, after Ferrampa opens up, I want three griffins and three cockatrices. Just because I want to uh, want to have a little bit of a, a cannon setup. 
So we'll see how that goes. Alright. Give me one of them. Give me one of them. These are sevens now, right? Hmm. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong one here. Yeah, no, they're they're fine. That'll work. These are eights. Yeah, they get a lot of stuff at eight. Alright, moving on. Nope. Do not load. I was trying to figure out which one was the hard save and which one was the soft save. It was confusing. Alright. This one I'm not expecting to be a terribly long one, but... Hey, you're in, you're out, you're out. You're here, you're here. I want you and you up front. Actually, let's have you over here. You over here. So let's get the rookies out of here. Have you guys up here. And then some archers. So let's do Aerosol and Sansa, I think. Yeah. That's good. Probably should have gotten three archers. Oh well. Might put a fourth one in there someday. Oh crap, I'm thinking of a completely wrong fight here. Okay. I have prepared wrong. Okay. Okay. No deal. This is fine. For some reason, I was thinking that this was the Hubrim fight. I think I've been seeing a lot more endgame than anything else lately. Alright. So this is more of a stalemate. And luckily I have all the ones I need, so let's have you go back here. Because I'm not going to be using them much for a couple rounds. Should have brought the casters. Oh. Yes, yes. Alright, so we're gonna, gonna plug one knight into that little alleyway on the left as per usual. I'm gonna plug up the middle with everybody else. Um I'm really gonna have Crushinator go around. Hammer at these guys from the back, actually. Have everybody else go from the front. Got my hybrids. So, have them do their thing. You're going to be a backup hole plugger here. Actually, ideally, I probably should have him there. Keep somebody else around to let him go off and do his thing. Okay, you're going to be the backup hole plugger, I think. Not ideal, but that knight can only be in one place at one time, and I have him set up with an invasion set up. So, he's not terribly meant for holding spots. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Pants is going to hold this spot. Fair enough. He's pretty tanky at this point. be doing a little bit better, but at least he's he's doing passably. But I'm not sure why he's blocking with a Oh, it's because it was a parry that he's uh, blocking with the spear instead of the shield. I was wondering there for a sec. All good, it makes sense. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's stack these two over here. Actually, it doesn't even make sense to do that. I'm going to put them over here. Because their whole thing is pretty much assisting down the alleyway. I'm going to need to pull pants back one tile. Have him plug that little gap, and that's a problem. But that's what Crushinator's for. There we go. That's where I want him to be. Them to be, rather. Hmm. Okay. Forgot about their pokey weakness or hammering. Uh, apparently, 
Hammers count as piercing, as do bows. Bows I get, hammers not so much. Oh well. Hmm. You know, I never even realized how prevalent the whole bows pierce armor thing was until just recently. When I saw a guy pretty much like try to claim it again on uh, I forget what it was. It was like some kind of historical forum or something. And uh, yeah, he got yelled at a fair bit. <laughs> like, dude, it's a tiny little stick with a pointy end. It's not punching through sheet metal. What what do you really expect there? <laughs> like people are mad, but then at the same time, it's like this weird pent up thing where in a lot of places, uh, or in a lot of cases, people get way too mad, and it comes off as obsessive. And it's just really one of those things that they're like, you know, there were a bunch of things that stuck around for so unnecessarily long that it gets uh, gets people triggered. Funny how that works. I mean, I guess it, it should be mentioned, like, yeah, some stuff, sure, they'll be able to bypass it somewhat, but the, uh, the thing in question was specifically, like, what this guy's wearing right here, like, just full plate. That's, you know, little wooden stick, little pointy stick is not getting through that. It, it physics do not allow that. <laughs> Alright, I think, do I have phalanx on you? For some reason, I don't. Alright, whatever. We're gonna go over here. He's gonna continue building up points. I have no idea why I don't have phalanx on him. No matter... I don't know why these guys are so un, like unskilled in general. Why do I keep forgetting to give them stuff? Oh well. The, they're mostly relying on item healers here, so they're going to be a lot slower to get, go around with what they're doing. So, attrition's always the way to win this one. And he fell asleep. Hmm. And somehow was missed while asleep. <laughs> Andy. Hmm. <laughs> Block. No counter. I thought he had a counter. Am I just thinking the completely wrong save file or something? Hmm. So I meant to have her go around. What the hell am I doing? What is she doing here? There we go. He's just gonna go around. She may not even make it to where she needs to be in time, but... Here's open. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I need him up here. One thing, he might serve as a target for another thing. I'd like that alleyway to fall back a little bit. Sorry for that. Push you back. Yeah. Okay, this guy should be out of the way pretty soon. And we just got a kill move for him. Wait a second. Does he even have a spear skill? Yes, he do. Yes, he do. Wow. Yes, he does. Uh, one of the dragoons I noticed last time didn't have it, but he's not even one of them, so... Meh. <laughs> uh, the usual thing where I'm just gonna completely misremember stuff left and right. Man, just one healing unit would change this fight so much. Like, it would just go from being this constant battle of attrition to just even more oppressive than it usually is. And I want to say the original had, um, had them showing up with uh, with I more item heals. 
Because these guys just show up with basic ones. Which actually I hope to see more of. Like as um as skills eventually get added in to different units and whatever. I hope to see a lot more with uh, different like field alchemy levels and such sort of thing. Just because it doesn't feel like you see a whole lot of item use um, from a lot of the generic uh, soldier guys and whatever. Until you get to pretty close to the end of the game and all that. Okay. You know what? One second here. I have to cut it off because I think the dog's getting into something. One moment.